three, two, one. What's going on Spartans? It's your boy Mikey back with another Spartan Times episode. For this episode, you already know the vibes. We got a lot going on. So without further ado, let's get into the episode. For the first topic, we have controversial food opinions made by Brandon. My hot take, sushi is better than anything. But we have controversial food opinions made by Brandon. Let's get into it. What's up Spartans? Do you guys have any hot takes on food? Cause I know I do. But you'll have to wait till the end of the video to see that. Let's see what other Spartans have to say. My food hot takes are that pineapple does belong on pizza. I know that's basic, but this is it right here. This is the big one. Taco Bell is the best Mexican food there ever is. I promise. You guys can get mad? Look, this guy's already getting mad. I know there's people in the class that are getting mad. Look, Caleb. You're wrong. You're wrong. It's the best Mexican fast food there is. Maybe in America, I'm being honest. You get, these guys are freaking out behind the camera. You gotta Dude. see this. Okay. Anyway, that, that was my hot take. American fast food? That was my hot take. Don't kill me, please. Have a go. My food hot take is that In N Out is better than Whataburger because Whataburger burgers are trash. Put lemon on your fruit, it there's never it's never gonna taste bad if you put lemon on your fruit. Just do it. Um, and putting tahini on fruit, it's pretty good. But really try lemon on your fruit. Oh, sugar in your spaghetti. Sugar in your spaghetti. Heat it up, put sugar in your spaghetti. I kid you not. Like I know you're probably thinking like, oh that's like that's weird, that's like elf. No, it's good. Try it. Don't bunk it till you try it. Okay, one more thing, one more thing. Putting hot sauce on your burgers on your eggs, hot sauce will never be bad on anything. You know that song, I got hot sauce in my bag, swag. I got hot sauce in my bag because I want it on my burger, okay? And that's all I gotta say. So what's your controversial take on food? Uh, I think my controversial take, I hate to admit it guys, but I used to really like Speedy's Pizza until I saw that Roach video on FitFam and then it just ruined it for me. But up until that point, fire. Really? Yeah, I don't like Speedy's pizza. Speedy's is horrible. It was just convenient. It was right there and, and they would make good pizza, man. And then I saw the roaches and I was like, that's where the flavor came from. That's where the flavor came from. All right. Well, thank you very much, man. All right. So my food hot takes are one. I actually like pickles and peanut butter. I think it's an... You guys have really weird hot takes, but my hot take is that boss is better than Chick-fil-A. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. And all that food got me hungry just thinking about it. Now look, do any of you want to get into computer skills, maybe some technology skills? We have an IT promo coming up from Angel. Let's check it out. What's up, Spartans? Hope y'all are doing good today. Did you guys know that we actually have an IT course here at Pebble Hills High School? Well, if you guys didn't know, here's Mr. Morales with some more info on the class. Hi, my name is Robert Morales. I'm the IT teacher for the Computer Network System Endorsement here at Pebble Hills High School. Our endorsement consists of four courses. The freshman course is Principles of IT, which is an introductory course for students to learn general computer use and maintenance. Our second year course is Computer Maintenance, which is the class responsible for teaching students full IT responsibilities as a tech. In that course, they actually have the opportunity to challenge the A-plus certification, which is the begin intro introductory certification for IT techs. In your third year as a junior, you'll be able to take the practicum course, which is a two-period course. The first period is typically used for lecture in order to expand your knowledge on IT work, uh, but the second period is often used to work with the IT tech on campus. So you'll actually go with our tech in the library and then do uh, tickets on campus, which means you'll go to the classrooms and actually do repairs uh, for maintenance or for any student laptops. If you make it to your senior year here with this endorsement, you have the opportunity to then take the more advanced networking course. In that one, you actually work with network systems like routers, uh, servers, switches, and that will allow you to challenge either the CCNA or the Network Plus certification, which is a very advanced certification, which can put you in a very challenge or a very uh, competitive job position. So if you're interested in any of these courses, make sure to come see me, Mr. Morales, over here in D310. Have a great day.
Thank you, Mr. Morales, for all of the information that you have provided for us about your IT course. But you know what? I want to get a little bit more information from your students. So let's go ahead and see what they have to say. Hello, my name is Casey Kelly. I'm currently taking the practicum of IT course. I think taking this course has really helped me with my IT skills way better. And it's also been preparing me for a future career in IT. I think it's definitely worth it. We get we have more hands-on, we get to work with the tech, and we get to we just get to do more things than we did previously. Hello, my name is Joel Bidloy and the benefits of this school of IT, communication and you learn a deeper understanding of what you're doing, the troubleshooting processes for computers of what to do and what not to do and how to help customers. You learn about the hardware systems and their functions and what they do for the computers. And you learn plenty of more, including the labs that are provided during this course. My name is Giovanna and I'm a senior and uh, I'm taking computer maintenance. We work on computer software, how they work, how we can troubleshoot them, and we can also see how we can replace things that can't really be done by software, and we can play this little hardware part that can help it, basically. Wow, the IT course seems to be really advanced, and quite a lot of fun, actually. But that's it from me, Spartans. Have a good rest of your day. Nah, I'm just playing. But look, now we got a wrestling movie coming up from Caleb, where the family... You know what? I'll let Caleb explain that. Let's get into it. Ever since I was a child, people said my family was cursed. Mom tried to protect us with God. Pop tried to protect us with wrestling. He said if we were the toughest, the strongest, nothing had ever hurt us. I believed him. We all did. What's good, Spartans? And today, I'm going to be talking about a movie I've been dying to talk about since I first saw it, and that's The Iron Claw. The movie is starring Zac Efron, Lily James, Holt McCanley, Jeremy Allen White, Stanley Simmons, Harris Dickinson. You don't know who. But, um, Dom, if you want, because you haven't seen the movie yet, you are free to cover your ears. You are free to walk away. Walk away because Dom wants to see this movie. <laughs> I'm surprised he hasn't seen this movie. I told him to watch the movie. I told him. So the three scenes that did make me cry were one, uh, the Christmas scene. Out. By the way, in these scenes, two of the brothers are already dead. In the Christmas scene, when Carrie gets his dad a gun and the dad doesn't want to shoot the gun, Carrie's like meltdown. Ooh, you can't hear me, right, Dom? You promise? Yeah, that, that, that scene made me cry. And then there was, uh, after Carrie shot himself in the heart, and Kevin was carrying his body. Oh my god, I'm tearing up just thinking about it. And I laid him on the, on the dinner table and was like, I love you, Carrie, and kissed his brother. That, that got me. And then the afterlife where Carrie meets his oldest brother who died when he was seven. And then Kevin is out, outside of all that. Kevin's just seeing his brother, or no, not seeing his sons play football. And he's crying and his brothers are like, they're not brothers. Well, this is why I keep confusing them. His sons are like, why are you crying? He's like, because I, I used to be a brother and now I'm not a brother anymore. And they're like, we'll be your brother's daddy. We'll be your brothers. And they're like, it's okay, I cry too. <laughs> wow. That got me. Dom, you're free to come back. But those are the scenes that made me tear up. Dom. And he's like, I used to be a brother. Now I'm not a brother anymore. And and Mike, he just wanted to be a cameraman. He wanted to do what we do, and he was forced into this. <laughs> I might actually cry on camera. No, keep rolling. This is good content. Keep rolling. <laughs> People are going to say, oh, you were crying in the Spartan Times. <laughs> Heck yeah, I was. The dad and, the, and Kevin is like, you didn't take care of him. And the dad's like, he called you and you didn't take care of him. And I'm like, I, I hate the dad, man. 
And David, he was like, oh, I'm going to be an uncle to Kevin. And then... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the notes, too. Like, the notes that... Because... Cover your ears, Dom. <laughs> Cover your ears. <laughs> Again, he hasn't seen the movie. After a brother dies, they do these notes that they wrote before they died, and they have them narrated. Dom, you're free to come back. Dom. <laughs> they narrate it, and it's just so sad. I just realized, like, five people are watching me cry right now. I have classes with a few of these people who are watching me cry. I can't wait to see y'all. And then you're going to be like, oh, hey, I saw you crying in the middle of the halls. Right. <laughs> yeah, I was. I don't know if you're allowed to say, are you allowed? Heck right. <laughs> Darn right. Now, look, that wrestling family, you know, let's not even talk about that. But look, we all have odd moments. But what about historically odd moments? We have weird moments in history from Adia. Let's check it out. Hello everyone. Welcome to Weird History. And did you know about the city that danced themselves to death? Strasbourg, France had a history of bad luck from droughts to famines to seeing ghosts. But in 1518, their bad luck was realized when a woman named Frau Traffier stepped into town square and started dancing. Now obviously, this isn't too weird on its own, but what started to draw people's attention was the fact that she was still dancing hours later, and she even looked a little crazed doing so. She continued to dance for another few days before eventually collapsing from exhaustion. But as soon as she was recovered, she was at it again. And this time, more than 30 people had joined by the end of the week. At a loss for what to do, Many thought the best course of action was allowing the dancers to dance their heart out and get it out of their system. So, they arranged centers for the dancers to congregate in high music and paid dancers to accompany the sick. However, this only exacerbated their symptoms, and soon over 400 cases of the sickness had spread all over parts of France and Germany. Not knowing what else it could be, churches believed that it was the effects of demonic possession and formed masses and interventions to pray it away. A famous alchemist and physician by the name of Paracelsus took a more practical stance and theorized that the victim's laughing veins could give a ticklish feeling that rose from the limbs to the head, causing their judgment to cloud and make the victim convulse until their blood was calmed. Of course, he said those who were most afflicted were those who participated in voluptuous bodily pleasure, but no one is perfect. The virus eventually came to an end when the sick were taken to a shrine to pray the sickness away. This stopped the spread, and two months after the dancing plague had begun, the illness had disappeared. So what caused it? We still don't know, really. The most popular theory is stress-induced hysteria, but this is all speculation. We may never know. But anyways, thank you all for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Now look. That was kind of weird. We have Dodgeball coming up from the AV crew. And uh, I love y'all. This will be the last time you'll hear this. Uh, I'm your host and will forever be your host, Mikey, signing off.
princess. Ah, John. What the Sigma?